Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I am coming to you with a collective general reading. There could be messages here for you, but if it does not resonate, do not force a message to fit. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It is very, very, very much from the bottom of my heart appreciated, honestly. Please bear in mind you've got to use your discernment when watching tarot. We're just going to see what comes out here. Um, this could resonate for any sign you have in your chart. So just flip it, switch it, reverse it, take it, however it fits. But do not force. Okay, so we're just going to get some messages here. Messages for the collective. Spirit, please protect me as I channel the messages that the collective need to know, please. Please guide me, Spirit, with your white protective light. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, we've got friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. And we have, what's behind that? Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Okay. Possibly renewing something, some sort of platonic relationship. Empathy is at the bottom of the deck. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation here. Okay, so it could be that you're having to, you could be a Leo with that pride card here I'm getting. Um, it could be that you're, you're having to swallow your pride in a situation and kind of surrender to something here, or you could be needing to have some sort of conversation with an individual or communication with an individual and having to put some sort of idea, perspective aside of your own. I'm getting that also. Interesting. Let's see, I'm gonna get a couple of these also. man holding a coin okay you could be an earth sign blossom in abundance number 43 and number three. Oh, bottom of the deck number one the happiest card in the deck we've got the sun you definitely could be a fire sign a leo specifically oh i'm loving that energy the sun blossom in abundance and man holding a coin it could be that the universe is gifting you something here, or you could be receiving a gift from somebody here, or you could be growing something. Definite growth, some sort of growth here. Let's have a look at the tarot. Seven of Cups, the High Priestess. We've got Judgment. There's a lot of spiritual energy here. Six of swords in the reverse. Okay. I'm just getting somebody's called time on something. I don't know what that means to you. Death in reverse at the bottom. You could be a Scorpio. You've called time on a situation or somebody has. With that judgment card. Six of cups. Something in your past possibly. You definitely could be a water sign here. Ten of Wands, the Devil in Reverse, Five of Pentacles, somebody might want to come and give you something here, come out of the cold with you, you could have walked away from somebody here when somebody is wanting to make a U-turn, it could be a fire sign with the Knight of Wands here at the back of the deck, King of Swords, you could be an air sign. You could be dealing with an air sign here. Okay. Definitely could be dealing with a fire sign here. We've got the death card in the reverse. We've also got the queen of wands in the reverse and the magician in the reverse. Very manipulative energy here. And the chariot. Somebody wants to keep you from moving forward, collective. Page of pentacles. Here, somebody could be coming in with an offer because we've also got the man holding a coin here. Definitely could be somebody coming towards you with some sort of offer here. They feel ashamed. They feel embarrassed. I'm getting with the four of swords over some rejecting you in the past and they want to take that back. 
tower in the reverse here because they see you looking good they see you looking after yourself they see you in your bag they see you being successful and abundant you could be an earth sign you could be dealing with a fire sign or a fellow an earth sign if you are an earth sign here interesting okay we're going to get some cards to clarify here we're going to get one to clarify each of these cards also man holding a coin please oh Five of Wands, somebody wants to come out of some sort of conflict with you, with the Five of Wands in the reverse, after some sort of, maybe they've had second thoughts about something here. Blossom in abundance. Oh, Ace of Wands, you've got something new coming to you. You've definitely got something new coming to you with that Blossom in abundance here. Friendship. Eight of Wands, something moving forward or you are moving forward to i'm just getting a sense of you moving to find new partnerships i'm getting soul tribe vibes you could be very independent right now with the nine of pentacles looking good looking after yourself you could be working on your money saving your money tending to things around the home looking after things helping things to flourish i'm getting somebody likes plants the love is in the reverse here for pride interesting somebody letting go of some sort of, sort of ego from not being from not being chosen six of wands absolutely letting go of ego here page of cups in the reverse it could have been that you dealt with somebody that wasn't on your level wasn't mature or was immature in some way shape or form with that pride card and the lovers in the reverse i get a sense of somebody here has let something go it could have been that that was quite difficult for somebody you could have been stuck in your ego a little bit with the six of wands wanting to win type of thing. But I just feel like you've there's an acceptance thing here and a moving forward with the rest of the cards that we have here. But we're going to clarify some of these cards here. What is this man holding a coin, please? I need one more. One more. Oh, this could have been somebody who put you in competition. Lots of options here. With that three of pentacles in the reverse and seven of cups. It could have been somebody who put you on the back burner here. Went towards other people. Give, gave an offer elsewhere. But I just feel like there's a sense of somebody wanting to come back. This could have been a Capricorn. This could have been a Virgo here. And it could have been somebody you had some sort of partnership with. That didn't work out here. Less than abundance. You don't see this coming, but you've got something coming in for you, collective. For each of you, it might be something different. I feel like you've got some, some sort of gift coming towards you with that two of swords. You don't see this coming. What is this gift? Something that has been quite slow to come towards you. This could be an earth sign. This could be a person here. Could be a person you had an ending with that wants to let go of some sort of burden here, some sort of trickery or games. But there's something here. Eight of Wands and friendship. Eight of Wands with friendship here. We've got the Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Temperance card. You're bringing balance to your feelings here in some sort of situation that may not have gone in your favour. I just feel like it could have left you sort of feeling out of whack emotionally here. You could be a Sagittarius who you're dealing with one with the Temperance card. And I just feel like you're moving yourself into a sense of equal equilibrium like you're balancing your emotions somehow in order to move yourself forward again it might have a lot to do with sort of cutting out the cutting out the arguing the conflict around you and stepping out of your ego and having some sort of acceptance here with something pride by pride so the six of cups wanted to come out king of pentacles you were definitely stuck in your ego or somebody was and i just feel like you're scaling it back i don't know why i'm getting it like this like with that pride card and the six of wands i just feel like you might have been sitting in your ego not wanting to give when i say not wanting to give not wanting to surrender to something or not wanting to lose kind of being oh, i don't know how i'm getting it like i i, I can't explain it put the words to it it's almost like you were sitting in a state of not wanting to lose like you know very strong sort of stance with that king of pentacles here and i just feel like with that page of pen page of wands you've scaled it back 
and now you're looking at what else is out there after putting down your ego, possibly putting down your swords. That resonates for somebody here. I just feel like a sense of surrendering your ego. Yeah, you could have been in a win at all cost type of energy here with the Seven of Swords. You could have dealt with somebody who was a bit deceptive here. It could have been an air sign, an earth sign. I just get that sense of surrendering your ego. I, I'm, I'm getting that for somebody here. Um, what is the Six of Swords? I feel like somebody wants to return with that Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Six of Swords. Okay, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Ten of Swords and we've got the Magician in the reverse. Somebody, we've got two Magicians in the reverse. So I would be careful and the world. It's definitely somebody that you've closed the cycle with. But I feel like this person feels unfinished business with you. And they see you looking good. They see you in your bag. You could have had some sort of glow up I'm getting here. I'm getting Ten of Swords and that. Um, nine of pentacles some sort of surgery you may have had some surgery that's for somebody or you may be considering surgery or something aesthetically that's for somebody but another message i'm getting is just they see you looking good after some sort of ending that you've had with this person this could be an earth sign or an air sign but with that magician in the reverse we need to clarify that because we've now got two magicians in the reverse this was to clarify the Six of Swords. Somebody doesn't want you to walk away from them here, but they see that you're standing in your power and you're abundant by yourself. Definitely somebody who you withdrew from. You withdrew from a cycle with this person with that world card, but there was an ending of some kind. Clarify the magician in the reverse, please. Clarify the magician in the reverse, please. Ooh, definitely um, somebody who... Could have manipulated a situation here. I'm getting for somebody, they could have taken something from you, assets, a home. And it could have been a person you shared a home with, with the Ten of Cups there. You could have shared children with this person here. Just be very mindful with that magician in the reverse. Let me get one more on the magician in the reverse here. The moon in the reverse and the Knight of Swords. Somebody could be angry with you. Here, they want to, they could have taken some sort of impulsive action that has been revealed to you with the moon in the reverse here, knight of swords in the reverse, and the fool in the reverse. They made some sort of foolish decision and now they're up in their feelings, king of cups. This could have been somebody who emotionally manipulated you or will emotionally manipulate you in order to stop you from moving on from them. I'm getting for somebody also yeah but this is justice for some reason for them to feel this lack for them to feel this regret there's a sense of karma here this could be a libra they want to come out of this this feeling of rejection now but i feel like this is justice possibly for something they have done in the past here that was at the back so i'll shuffle that again um yeah but you've put an end to this you've moved on from this burden whoever you are and you've, you've, with that King of Swords, you're thinking logically and you've made some sort of decision regarding something in your past here. What was the, what is the devil, please, in the reverse? Ooh, could have definitely dealt with somebody who, I'm getting jealous of you here. We've got six of one. Yeah, it could have been somebody who didn't want you to have some sort of shine over them or looked at you as some sort of competition to them sort of i'm getting with that devil in the reverse this could have been revealed to you already or you know this you could be highly intuitive and you just know this here they definitely felt a sense of i'm just getting um i'm getting they felt less than compared to you almost like standing next to you they felt less than i don't know i don't know if you're like a, a, a big a big personality I just feel like this person feels insecure. I'm just getting from that combination. See how he's looking at those people there. You could be a big personality. You could stand in your power, you know, be very, you know, concise and straight with your energy and with your how you speak to people just out there, very confident. You could be in the public eye. And I just feel like for whatever reason, this person, this person was insecure of that. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's all stuck up in their head over working on something with you here. 
putting in some type of work with the eight of pentacles here stuck up in their head about not wanting to walk away or you or feeling out in the cold not wanting to feel left out in the cold but you made a decision what was this decision to move on to choose a different path to go in a different direction again with that page of wands to put down your ego to change it up to surrender to look for new here to go i just feel like go back to the drawing board sort of energy here to look at a different path for yourself here this is definitely something that could have happened in your past king of swords you're standing in a very logical sense now and you could have dealt with somebody that was a bit emotionally immature not really on your level you're choosing to cut this off this energy here definitely was somebody who you had some sort of past life past connection with with the six of cups in the reverse and i just feel like you're being more logical but this person does not want to be left out in the cold because we've got the five of pentacles in the reverse but nothing was growing this could have been somebody who tried to downplay you because they felt a bit you know out of whack from your success or felt less than felt like they couldn't step step up to the plate in some way shape or form and there was a little bit of head, hidden jealousy there could have been a lot of hidden jealousy almost like they felt like they weren't they weren't worthy of you worthy of love that could be an inner child that could be an inner child um issue with them with that six of cups it could be something from their past that happened to them that means that they feel that way and we've also got the six of cups here definitely could have something could be something to do with them that happened in their past here what is this chariot and the death card i feel like this person does not want you to move forward here yeah page of pentacles that hermit but i still feel like this person lacks growth here with the hermit in the reverse I feel like this person, you're not in alignment with this person with the Hierophant. This could have been somebody you was in some sort of long-standing partnership with. I just feel like lack of alignment with that page. They're coming in, but I just feel a sense of, you know, they still they still haven't done the work. I'm getting a sense of they're not enlightened, they're not woke. They've not done the work required in order to help this to prosper in the way that it should here. Yeah. I just feel like they're not really on, on your level. So just use your, your discernment. What is this other magician? Yeah, this person's manipulative. And I just feel like this is a burden that you've put down. You've walked away and you've let down this burden of this heartbreak here. And you know, you know what this person is about already. This person could have been all about passion here. This person could have just, you know, wanted some sort of sexual connection with you here over a family situation or something committed here they could have emotionally manipulated you could be a libra could be a water sign a fire sign queen of wands in the reverse now the queen of wands in the reverse is a very selfish energy very self-centered energy Luke uses her looks to get what she wants masculine or feminine you've put down the burden of this this commitment from your past because it wasn't a happy situation this was clarifying the queen of wands you could have dealt with somebody who just wasn't on the same page with you wasn't in the same alignment with you may have caused a lot of conflict in this part in the past and i just feel like you've put this down i just feel a sense of surrendering there's a big sense of surrendering here with this yeah absolutely let me get you some extra messages and see what else we can see here any closing messages for the collective please closing messages we've got the three of swords in the reverse healing queen of wands is in the upright in this deck healing standing in your power working on you looking good smelling good charismatic you could be very attractive at this time attracting a lot of suitors to you here but putting down this heartbreak this three of swords, the world closing out cycles that don't serve you, king of coins, again man holding a coin was here, so you could have something new coming in, this could be a business venture, this could be new money, this could be a new opportunity that you're making for yourself, but with that world card you're closing out cycles that no longer serve you here, definitely, knight of wands, seven of wands, you're being very guarded, you could be being guarded in from a specific fire sign individual or it could be that you're just moving forward with a lot of tenacious energy moving yourself forward staying guarded using your discernment with people that are around you at this time three of cups celebration 
Six of Swords moving on. What a way to finish here. Three of Cups, celebration. You could be going to some sort of celebration, party. It, it, it could be your birthday season, depending on what sign you are. But I just feel a sense of celebrity, celebrative energy, moving yourself forward. You know, just being happy here, moving on. You could be a mother. You could have a son specifically here. But just moving on with that Six of Swords and go, stepping into this energy of just loving life again. I just get a sense of loving life again. Ooh. Page of Swords. Somebody's watching you do this. Possibly. Somebody could be watching you do this with the Page of Swords. Queen of Cups. You could be in a very loving energy right now. You know, loving on yourself, loving your children, loving your environment, just loving life in general. Take it as it resonates. But somebody's on the sidelines watching here. But just do you, collective. Do you. Collective, that is what I have for you for this reading. I hope you gained something from this. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. It is very much appreciated. I love you. Sending away, you away rather, in love and light. And I will see you next time for another reading. Bye.